the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Praised be Allah, Lord of the Universe, and peace and blessings be upon Muhammad, the last of all prophets. Dear brothers and sisters, once again, Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you. I hope you are staying well, you are staying safe. Today we are going to give examples to illustrate the importance of science and knowledge in Islam. As I said before, Islam is based on knowledge. It is a war against ignorance and illiteracy and bigotry. We said that Allah encourages that, Islam encourages that, the Quran encourages that, the Prophet encourages that. The Prophet tells us that the way, the best way to worship God is by seeking knowledge and by extension by giving knowledge and encouraging knowledge. So today I'm going to give you some statistics that talk about this. In the Quran, the word al-aql and ta'aql, derivatives of al-aql, al-aql, the mind, is repeated 49 times, in 49 verses. The word al-lub, which also means wisdom and the core of your uh, mind, 16 verses. Al-nuha, that is being able to distinguish between knowledge and ignorance, between good and bad, two times. Al-fikr, the intellect, and tafakkur, using the intellect to ponder over existence. Eighteen verses talk about that. Al-fiqh wa tafakkuh, that is knowledge, science, and seeking science, that is upgrading yourself by seeking knowledge. Twenty places. It was mentioned in twenty different contexts. Al-tadabbur. Tadabbur means when you read something, when you read a verse, you try to uh, uh, fathom it, you try to go to its deepest part to get something out of it. Four times, in four verses. Al-i'tibar, that is making the good conclusion, drawing the, the good conclusions. Seven verses, talk about it. Al-hikmah, wisdom, 19 verses. Al-Qalb, the heart, and generally when Al-Qalb is talked about in the Qur'an, that means the tool to rationalize, to make a difference between good and bad, bad and the locus of faith. It is used 132 times in the Qur'an. And then, last but not least, Al-Ilm, knowledge, science, At-ta'allum, learning, seeking knowledge, and al-ulama, the scholars, those who have knowledge, 800 times. So in all, all these were mentioned 1,069 times in the Quran. So you can imagine how important knowledge and the tools of knowledge and the means of knowledge are important in Islam. Now, in Islam, it's also very important to remember that the whole mechanism of uh, the legal system is based on the mind, on knowledge, on rationalizing, on knowing, and on being wise, of course. This is why you have a general rule in Islam, particularly related to knowledge, uh, the legal system, etc. It says, if you do your best when you are researching and trying to find an answer to, to a question, and if you give, you get to the correct answer, then you are rewarded twice. You are rewarded for the effort and you are rewarded for being right. And if you do your best, but don't get to the correct answer, you're still rewarded for trying. So it's very important to remember how Islam encourages using the mind, how Islam pushes people to look and try. 
And while talking about this, we cannot afford to forget talking about the present situation. We cannot afford to forget to relate this to the present situation of COVID-19. Now, all the Muslims know there is something very uh, positive about research. Since the very first day that this pandemic started, people have been reminding each other of the great hadith that says, ما جعل الله داء إلا جعل له دواء علمه من علمه وجهله من جهله ما جعل الله داء or ما أنزل الله داء or ما خلق الله داء there is no disease or no illness that Allah created except that He created its solution, its remedy. There are those who know it and there are those who don't. All this is the hadith. So when we know this, we are positive that there will be a solution. We never look to things in a negative way, in a pessimistic way, because by the way, pessimism is anti-Islamic. Allah says, إِنَّهُ لَا يَيْأَسُ مِنْ رَوْحِ اللَّهِ إِلَّا الْقَوْمُ الْكَافِرُونَ Only those who disbelieve lose hope in God. Lose hope, in fact. إِنَّهُ لَا يَيْأَسُ مِنْ رَوْحِ اللَّهِ Those who despair of the mercy of God are not believers. Why is that? Because they don't, they don't see God as He really is, as the most compassionate. So part of His compassion is to help people to find the, uh, the solution to this, uh, uh, to this pandemic. So all Muslims, and hopefully all those who believe in God, and hopefully all those, who, even those who don't believe in God. But I, here I'm talking about the Quran and the Hadith. It says, do not lose hope. You should try. If you get, there are, hundreds, thousands of scientists, hundreds of thousands of scientists these days who are taking part in a race towards finding the solution. Of course, most of them, if not all of them, are doing it for materialistic purposes. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. But they are doing it deservingly to help humanity. There's nothing wrong with making money. But as long as you make money to help the others, that's wonderful. And we should encourage you to do that. So the religion of Islam encourages people to do their best. When you do that and your intention is good, you are rewarded for that, even if you will get money for that. And the most important thing to remember, of course, here in this, in this discussion, is that Allah is, encourages you, is encouraging you to uh, use your mind, even if you don't get to the remedy or to the vaccine, you are still doing something for the sake of Allah. And the best people, as the Prophet says, the best pe people in the eyes of Allah are those, are those who help his creatures. So may Allah help and guide those who are looking for the solutions of this problem and may Allah reward them whether they are believers or not believers that's not the question the question is that they are being appreciated by God and by religion and by humanity and humanity will never forget their services thank you very much researchers Thank you very much doctors, nurses, thank you very much anyone who is doing their best to help people. And that is a good worship, a good way of worshipping God. Until I see you next time, I wish you the best of luck and the best of health and happiness and safety. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you.